What's up guys, Juggalo here, and finally they updated their website. It's been very, very long time since I've made this kind of video. And people saying you should use screen capture and all that stuff. Well, I kind of don't like using it. I like doing the camera deal kind of stuff because with my microphone I have, it's really crappy. You won't be able to hear me. And then people would complain, well, I can't see you. Well, um, this website will enable you to take your Kinect, which is up there, which is mine, and connect it to your computer. All right, before you even can think of even using a Kinect for your computer, you're going to have to get this guy right here. Let me unplug it. And this is where you'll plug in the Kinect to right here. If you can see that, this little adapter. I know the lighting's real crappy, but here it is, and then here is the USB. And it is connected via a power plug. So you need a power plug uh, connect adapter. Now this came with it if you buy the connect uh, standalone. So this will come with it, okay? So you have this where the connect connects to and then your USB to where it connect to your computer. Okay, so just make sure you have this little guy first. All right, on their website, they finally updated it to where you can actually just download everything you need. Okay, and I am going to go behind the couch and hopefully not make the wire hit my fan, but I'm trying to make sure I pretty much have the whole screen here which I do okay you're gonna have to download this guy right here I'm gonna save it and it's gonna go to your uh, downloads folder so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and close that out then I'm gonna bring this over here then I'll just extract all okay now this is the actual program right here you're going to be using, but we're not done yet. We have two more programs you have to use to enable the connect to be uh, connected to your computer. Again, tongue tied. All right, now you have two um, installs you can do. It says you can do either this one right here, option one, or option two, which is option or to open an eye so we're gonna go ahead and click that it's gonna be prime sense package we're gonna save that and then your Microsoft driver as well we're gonna save that so we're gonna go here and wait till it downloads hopefully it doesn't take too long so we have the sensor for the connect done but this guy right here the prime sense this is what you're gonna to have to install first before you uh, use the sensor connect uh, 091 okay so it's gonna be 52 seconds so we're gonna go ahead and download that so hopefully it doesn't take too long and now I can just close this out and then we'll wait for this we have 30 more seconds it's a pretty big file actually or a decent size file it's not big but it's a decent size for sure just waiting and waiting right now Okay, it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and hit run. Hit next. I agree. And then I'm. Uh, my phone's going off. I apologize about that. <clears throat> So, would you like to install this driver? You're going to hit install. It's going to take a couple minutes to install this. And 
and then you might say, it might say, what is it? It's like, do you trust this software? Blah, 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 blah. Do you want to install it? Because it's not from like the Microsoft website, so you're going to hit yes and agree and all that stuff. If that does come up. So I think it's either this or the uh, sensor connect. So that is done right now, hopefully. We're going to hit close, then you're going to go ahead and install sensor connect. You're going to click run. Hit next, install. And I think this is where it's going to do that same pop up again saying, Are you sure you want to install this device and everything like that? And this is what I was talking about right here. Don't install, install this driver software anyway. So we're going to do that. We're going to click finish and that's it right there. Now I'm going to try to do this the best I can if I'll get this the way I want it. So you want to make sure you got that adapter I was talking about. You can probably get it on eBay or whatever, but you're going to have to have where it connects right here and then you're going to have your USB to connect to your computer, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take my connect plug. I'm going to plug that in and then from there I'll take this if I can find a port that's opened on my computer okay now if I plug that in it should automatically install the driver and everything that I just had uh, installed so it's installing. Okay, your device is ready to use, okay? And then after that, you'll see that the Xbox low light is blinking. So when that is blinking, that means that it's working. So we're going to go to Fast 1.0. Open that file folder. And then it's going to say, do you want to use it? Of course you do. Hit Run and um, it should say uh, right here like the sensor or whatever and that's how you're pretty much going to do it and uh, it should say if it's working or not working and all that stuff too so we're going to go to the server so that's how you do it or whatever and that's how you install the Kinect software and all that stuff. So before you do that, you want to um, basically um, open this up and you see gestures and all that. And what you want to do, you got to make sure you hit connect. All right, then we're going to hit allow access. And now you can physically see me where I'm at and I'm waving my hand and um, basically what you want to do is do this and then from there it will recognize it and then you'll be able to use this program to work for uh, I've seen it people have used this program to use it for Windows for video games I think it would be really cool if I can do um, Battlefield 3 since you can see me like I think it would be cool if you do this and then just tap your finger or do like that or a motion like this that would fire your gun and then when you do this for like that that would be simulating using the uh, 40 millimeter uh, grenade launcher so you go douche douche like that and there's also certain things like doing a grenade and then doing the kneel like that you know, doing prone, like actually doing stuff, what they're doing in the game, instead of using a controller, use your body. I think that would be really awesome. So this is how you use the Kinect sensor. My first video, I got so many views of, this video sucks, you can't see anything, and I totally understand it, but also, you gotta come to realize, I had a crappy camera, 
let alone that video is, I don't know, how many years old, and it's not even valid anymore. Like, when they first came out with an update, I couldn't find all the files to make an update video. So finally, I can do this. So that is it, guys. Comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button. You guys have a great day. Bye.